What's going on mobile gamers today? I'm going to show you guys how to patch Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 so that you can use Daijisho, which is your front end for playing the games. So let's jump in and level up our gaming knowledge. All right, mobile gamers. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate to Dolphin. We're going to long press on our game. We're going to go to details and we're going to make sure that we select the right game for our country. So mine is going to be Europe. Same with my Super Mario Galaxy 2. If I long press on that and go to details, this one is Europe as well. So that is very important for the next step because when we do the actual patch for this, we need to know which one we're selecting. So if you followed my Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 patch guide that allowed you to start the revolution patches, this will actually patch that directly to that game rather than having to start it with the revolution patch. And why this is beneficial is because we can use these patched games navigating through our front end like Daijisho, for example. The next thing we're going to do is download the revolutions ISO builder.zip file. We're going to right click it and then extract it. So I'm going to extract everything inside of a revolution ISO builder folder, just like so. Now we're going to open up another file manager. We're going to navigate to our Odin 2. We're going to grab that game file. So I'm going to grab just my Super Mario Galaxy 2 game for now, or Galaxy 1. Go into that Revolution ISO Builder folder, go into the next one in there, and then paste that file into the original ISO folder. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to right click at the root directory of this folder where it says Revolution ISO Builder. Right click inside there and then click on Open in Terminal. This is going to open up a PowerShell terminal, just like so. You're also going to open up the README how to text. Now, this is going to have easy copy and paste options for us. And I also put some steps in here to follow along if you don't want to follow the video. So, I'm using PowerShell. So, I'm going to be using dot forward slash revolution ISO builder dot exe. I'm going to go back into my PowerShell and I'm just going to press control V just to paste that in there and press enter. Now we don't have that file copied yet, so we just gotta wait until that file's finished copying over. It's gonna take about three minutes for me, so just wait until that's copied into the original ISO folder. Now that that file is copied over, we can go back into our terminal and then click control V dot forward slash revolution ISO builder dot exe. And now we're going to select that ISO. So we're gonna go into our revolution ISO builder folder, click on original ISO. Go to all files on the right hand side. Now select that Super Mario Galaxy.wfs. Click open. Now this part was the important part. So I already put the revolution mods in here for you for your Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. So we're gonna double click on that classic controller. Mine is the PAL region. If yours is the USA region, then use the U. If yours is the Japanese region, use the J. And I don't remember what the K region, I think that's Korean. So PAL is for just European, U is for USA, K is I think Korean, and you can double check that, and J is for Japanese. So PAL is the one that I'm going to be selecting. Now I'm going to go back out, I'm going to go back out again, until I see the patched ISO folder. Now my game is a WF or WBFS, so I like to keep the game name the same. So if yours is an ISO, then make sure to name it the .ISO extension. So I'm going to just name mine the WBFS, and then I'm going to go Super Mario Galaxy Hatched. Just like so. Click Save, and then wait for it to do its thing. Just be patient because this section does take a few minutes because it is a large file that it's actually patching. So just give it some time. Now, once it's reached 100%, it's going to give you some options to choose your selection. So I'm going to use the All-Stars style controller. So I'm going to enter two and press enter. Swap L and ZL, that's all up to you. I'm going to press no for this. I'm going to press or type in no for the next option as well and let it do its thing. Now this is patching the file and it does take some time for this as well. So just give it some time until it's done. Just depends on your computer speed. Ignore that warning, press OK, and let it do its thing. Now that it's all done, we can just close out the CMD or the PowerShell, whatever you're using terminal-wise, by pressing the X button. Now you're going to navigate inside that Revolutions ISO Builder folder again, go to that patched ISO folder, and then you're going to copy it. So right-click and just copy 
by using the copy icon or just do control C. It's all up to your preference how you do that. Now we're going to go back to our Odin 2, go to Odin 2, wherever your Wii U games are basically. And then you're going to delete the original file or copy it somewhere, wherever you'd like. So I'm going to delete mine. And then I'm going to paste my patched ISO file in here. Now that that file is copied over to our Odin 2, which is the new patched game, we can just navigate out of there and then download the next file, which is in the link in the description below, which is called the Wiimote file. Now I've already extracted it into its own folder. You know how to do that already. And this is all up to your preference. You can copy both of these files. These are the actual classic controller profiles that I've made up for you guys. So just copy them wherever you'd like on your Odin 2. I'm going to copy mine into my Wii folder, into my controller profiles folder. And as you can see, I've already got them here. So I'm just going to copy and replace them and overwrite them. That's perfectly fine. And now we're going to actually navigate to our Odin 2 once again. So I'm going to put that back on the screen. Now we're gonna go over to our apps, go to the Dolphin emulator. We can just swipe down to actually see it activate. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is navigate to our default file manager. We're gonna go down to the Odin 2 folder, wherever your profiles are located. I'm gonna go into my controller profiles. Now I'm using the Xbox controller profile right now. So I'm just gonna copy this one, click control or long press on it. And then until it checks box, click the three dots, click copy two. Click the three lines at the top, go to Dolphin Emulator, go to Config, go to Profiles, go inside this Wiimote profile, and then you're going to copy that in here. Now, if you already have other profiles in here, that's perfectly fine. We can just go to our Dolphin Emulator, go to Config, go to Profiles, go to Profiles again, and then you can just delete these other profiles if you don't want to have them in here. That's what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to rename this one just to xbox controller you don't have to do this step this is just for my sake because i've already got these profiles in here now what you're going to do is go back over to dolphin you're going to long press on super mario galaxy go to edit game settings go to wii input settings cog and then just make sure that you select the corresponding one based off of what controller you're currently using if you don't know what i'm talking about if we go to our settings in our odin 2 go to our odin settings Go all the way down to controller style. I have mine set to Xbox mode, but if you have yours set to Odin mode, obviously use the Odin controller style. Now get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Go back to Daijisho, go to the Wii, and then you're gonna go to paths. I'm going to just clear these paths just for the sake of this video. Now I'm gonna use this folder, click sync, make sure that it syncs up. And now we'll see that Super Mario Galaxy patch file. And there we go. Now we can use that Super Mario Galaxy patch without having to start the Revolution patch and use it through the application like Daijisho. And it works perfectly fine the way that it's supposed to. And as you can see, all of my game saves are still here. I didn't have to mess around with new game saves or anything like that. And this patch is amazing so that you can play Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 on your Odin 2 or any other handheld devices. Have a nice day. See you next time. Subscribe to the channel for more of this content.